Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the Rogers Kakasungura YouTube channel. Uh, keep supporting us in whichever way you can so that this platform can continue serving the citizens of this powerful republic. There's something I want to address tonight. And um, I am surprised. But on the other side, I'm not that surprised because I expected it to happen because I knew it will really happen. All of us, those who are watching this video, in one way or another, we watched William Ruto's campaign rallies. We watched William Ruto's TV interviews. A number of times we were watching. And um, there was a gospel preached by Ruto himself. And um, the gospel was if we take power our officers will not be used to intimidate our opponents. He said it categorically. He said the DCI is being used to intimidate me. That is the DC Kinoti. You remember? Remember George Kinoti? Several times Ruto could fight with Kinoti verbally. Several times Ruto attacked Kinoti. And he was telling the people of Kenya how Kinoti is being used by the Jubilee government to taint William Ruto's name. There are so many videos I can't play and finish. That's why I decided to just give a highlight because at one point, you also watched. During Kenney's barrier, there was a police officer who was working in William Ruto's office. During the barrier day, Ruto, the deputy president by then, said categorically in public that George Kinoti is being used by President Uhuru Kenyatta to taint William Ruto's name ahead of the 2022 general election. And in return, several times, Ruto promised that in my government, public servants will never be engaged in politics. In my administration, the DCI will not be used to blackmail and intimidate other politicians. He swore to the Bible several times. He swore in church, in political rallies. That is what he said. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if really these guys flash back what has been happening in the past regime. Whatever they hated most, they are exactly walking along that path. Kumbe, mutu anapolia ni nafasi hajapata ya kutenda anayotendewa. Siju kama unanipata. Ukiona mwanafunzi anayalia shuleni kwamba mechapa na walimu. Uyo mwanafunzi siku moja awe mwalimu atachapa zaidi kuliko walio kuwa na mchapa. I don't know if you have ever studied this. Wale wanaolia kwamba ho oh, serikali ni inaiba, ho oh, ni nini. When Ruto was outside government, by then, okay, alikuwa DP lakini alikuwa mewe kwa inje kidogu. He could complain massive theft, massive corruption in Uhuru government. But then, 
The same Ruto was complaining is the same person spending an annual budget allocation in just six months. Yani budget in a far kutumika 12 months, yeya me maliza in six months, bado anaitisha 5 billion. Kila mutu ni muizi ni nafasi ejapatikan. Kila mutu ni muizi. The question we are supposed to ask, who has stolen more? Not who is stealing and who is not. The question is, who has stolen more? Because after all, kila mtu ni muizi. So, na niseme hivi. William Ruto, serikali yake ya Kenya kwanza, imekuwa ikikimbiza sana. Matiangi. Na wanasiasa wa Kenya kwanza wamesema several times in the kisi political WhatsApp groups that vita ya Matiangi na Ruto is 100% political. They say I'm driving. Sijui kama unanipata. Ruto kupiga Matiangi ni kisiasa sio ukweli. It's not like Matiangi alifanya makosa. It's not like Matiangi ameiba. It's not like Matiangi ni nini. Ni kwa sababu ya siasa. They want to intimidate Matiangi so that he can join them. Now, after wamekimbiza Matiangi, oh, wameleta kesi, wametumia DCI, wale DCI walisema kwamba watatumiwa, Sasa Kenya kwanza inawatumia wameita Matiangi wamemwandikia kesi wamemwandikia ma, mashtaka wa amenda DCI wamemweka pale for 7 hours they don't want to listen to him and so much drama which William Ruto himself said serikali yake haitafanya alisema in public alisema serikali yangu haitatumia independent bodies to harass other politicians around especially the DCI alisema DCI ilimuharas that time na akaapa kwa biblia kwamba atakapoingia serikali kama rais yeye hatatumia DCI kueneza matakwa yake ya kisiasa Lakini sasa tunaona the same Ruto is using DCI to achieve political interests. Alisema he cannot involve DCI in politics. Lakini he is the first person just 6 months in office. Ye ndio mtu wa kwanza kutumia DCI kisiasa. You know this year is an independent body. It should be an independent body. Lakini, imeonekana kwamba, serikali ya Kenya kwanza, imeanza kutumia this year, ili kutesa wale ambao, hawaendi kulingana na vile wanahitaji. Today, they have confirmed to the world, that, they have used all along the this year politically to intimidate and harass Matiang. They have confirmed today to the world in public. In short, the Kenya Kwanza government has shot itself on the leg. Image piga risasi kwa mgu. Today, the Kenya Kwanza government has scored itself an own goal against Matiang. Iyo inaitua an own goal. Yani, sijui mbona baba ajaria la isi story, sijui ni mpigia simu ni muambia daddy. Ikitu umeipata kweli. And kama me, if baba had comprehended what is happening, angezungumzia leo. Lakini wacha ni wafungue macho. Withdrawing Matiangi's charges by the DPP is a confirmation that the DCI has been using politics 
in investigating Matiani. Yani, the charges against Matiani from the DCI were purely political because the DPP has dismissed the charges and said they lack evidence to proceed. In a short, he said, the judges raised against Matiangi are nothing but hot air. Now, the DPP is a Kenya Kwanza office. It's a government office. Kinoti is not in the office. We have a new DCI in the office. The DCI walisema wata mtumia kisiasa. They have confirmed today through a letter of withdrawing Matiangi charges. It is a confirmation to the world that yes, Ruto is using DCI politically. It's a confirmation. It can never get out of the hook. It's a confirmation. But Kenya Kwanza cannot understand this because they lack advisors. They lack advisors. Now they are proud releasing a press statement that we have removed the charges against Matiangi. Little do they know it's an own goal. This year, I am going to kill Matiangi Mashtaka. Two counts. Cybercrime and publishing false information. I'm a dick. Qua charge sheet. Nil one yes, hapa. Wakati matiani alko kwa DCI. Walko matangesa paka charge sheet ya kumpareka kotin. Kama sio uru ali piga si mu. Matiani anga pele kwa kotin. Lakini leo. Wana tuambia kwamba. Okay. Office ya DDP. Inambi office ya DCI. Kwamba. Whatever you brought before me was hot air and political. Let Matiangi stay. Sasa wanapiga kifua, oh, tumewakua Matiangi, oh, Matiangi is now a free man. Yes, Matiangi is a free man, but guys, you've scored yourself an own goal. Every one of us has an opportunity to do something. Is the opportunity ya naijapatikana. Ruta alikuwa analia kwa sababu by then hao kuwa rice. Sasa amekuwa rice. And he is doing the same, same things he was castigating. He is doing the same things. Zila ambasa alikuwa anachukia. Kuumbe ni nafasi haku kuwa amepata. Sasa ameipata. Na sasa amerudi kwa matapiko ya serekari ya jubili. Hamerudi kukula ile matapiko ya jubili. Hmm. Own goal. You've scored yourself, guys. It's your own goal. You've scored yourself. Mulikuwa muna sima mati, yo, DCI inatumi wa kisiasa kunimariza. Oh, DCI wa wachana na siyasa. Oh, kinoti ya wachana na siyasa afanya kazi. Oh, kinoti siyo mana siyasa. Oh, nini, nini, nini. Wewe, sasa, mbona unatumia DCI kweneza chukia kwa ya kisiasa na matiangi. Mbona. I know so many Kenyans didn't know this. But then, mimi ni mekufungua machu. God bless you. Asante ni sana. See, if there is a dangerous government that is going to wrongly use public servants, is the Kenya, mark my words, if there is a dangerous government that is going to politically use independent bodies, including the judiciary, is this Kenya Kwanza government. Mark my words and you shall see it. God bless you. Thank you so much.